In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the Stock Out Risks Report, which you can find here on your dashboard. And the Stock Out Risks Report is basically a filtered dashboard on your inventory page in SoStock. And the two filters that we're currently running are active products, so status is active, and potential stock out is greater than zero days. This is potential stock out days, by the way, it's cut off. So it's greater than zero days. So basically anything where it looks like I might have a stock out. Now you might choose to change this number. This is just a default. You might say, you know what, if it's more than 10 days, if it's less than 10 days, I don't really care. Um, I want to look at big stock outs, more than 10 days, more than 20 days, something like that. You can arbitrarily set this however you want it. And then you can apply your filters and then come up here once you've applied filters and save dashboard with that new filter applied. But in this case, we're just looking at all potential stockouts. So let's take this one for example, the fidget spinner. <clears throat> what this is, uh, this dashboard is designed to focus you in on the key data that you need to help recover, uh, prevent future stockouts or recover from an inevitable stockout, an unavoidable stockout. In this case, this fidget spinner product in the North America marketplace, we're looking at a potential stockout uh, of four days and it starts on September 14th. Now it also has a couple other days uh, information here in the past, so past stockout days and percentage of past stockout days in the last year. That's just data, that's really irrelevant for future stockouts. What we really want to focus in on is this. Now where is it getting this information? It's actually getting your information from the forecast. So let's open up our forecast in another tab and I'll get rid of this morning for new FBA shipments. So as you can see, I've got this product here and it says that I have eight days until stock out. Let's go look at the actual forecast <clears throat> and let's calculate this a little bit or just break it down for you. So this product is currently selling 23 units per day. You can see that it used to be selling less than that, but I've manually increased the velocity on this example to show you, to, to, to simulate a stock out. Let's pretend this thing actually was selling 11 or 13 and then suddenly it started selling 23 a day and the system recognizes that your current velocity is 23. Because our velocity has increased or whatever the reason might, may be, maybe I skipped a week, I forgot to send inventory to FBA, who knows, one of my competitors went out of stock and my sales jumped up, whatever. I'm suddenly making more sales and there is an inevitable stock out right here. Inevitable means that based on your lead time for new inventory and your transfer time for existing inventory, we cannot get inventory into FBA fast enough. You can see we've got a 10 day transfer time. Even if I, even if I transfer inventory immediately on my weekly schedule, it's not gonna, it, this, is, this one's not even gonna arrive until the 18th, which is you know three or four days after that uh, stock out. So I cannot get inventory there fast enough. Okay, so I have this unavoidable stock out. It's only a four day stock out, it's not a big deal. Now I've already noticed that on my inventory page here, it says stock out days is four. Is that something I'm gonna go put a lot of attention on? Probably not. If it's avoidable, can I do something about it? Yes. In this case, what could I do? Well, technically I'm supposed to transfer my inventory every week on Friday, but I might go ahead and, and place that transfer a little early. So it says transfer by September 8th. I might just say, you know what? I'm gonna just transfer this inventory right now to avoid that stock out. And I could go ahead and place that transfer order. Okay, that one's solved, no big deal. But even those four days, I could lose some ranking. So I wanna do whatever I can to avoid that stock out. I also might consider changing this transfer schedule to as needed instead of every fixed, uh, fixed transfer schedule every Friday and then change my buffer stock, maybe you know, make sure I have enough buffer stock. There's a few things I can do to avoid those future stockouts. The idea here is this is a page that's gonna point you to the products where you're potentially gonna stock out on this date for these many days. Now this one here is a big problem, and this one here is a big problem. So we would wanna go investigate those. Now once we've investigated those and we say, well, why are we getting these big stockouts? Now here is something that something else that you want to go check out. This is called the stock out avoidance action list. Now this is a guideline. Obviously every business runs a little different. So, you know, we're giving you general advice based on best practices. 
there is no one size fits all answer for every single business every time. There's a lot of factors to consider, but these are generally the, the action items you want to take if you have potential stockouts. So you can copy this document and save it and print copies of it uh, and actually physically check these off with a real pen if you want to, or you can just save this to your desktop. I'm just going to read through the whole thing real quick. So stockout avoidance action list. Both inventory and marketing teams work together to avoid upcoming potential stockouts before they occur or to reduce the negative impact of stockouts if a stockout is inevitable. <clears throat> so here's the steps for the inventory team, which is you, the people using SoStock. You're the inventory team. So point number one here, use express shipping or small parcel delivery when possible. So that would shorten your lead time, wouldn't it? Again, if I'm going back here and I see that this is an unavoidable stock out, and maybe this is longer, maybe it was like two months or, you know, uh, sorry, two weeks worth of stock out. Do I have an express lead time? Can I add an express lead time here that maybe uses air freight instead of ocean freight? And instead of 30 days on the ocean, this only takes two days on, a, on an airplane, or really it's one day, uh, but we'll just go ahead and say two. And that could potentially get my, my inventory there sooner. So that's what this top one is. Switch to FBM fulfillment orders. Yes, of course. If you have inventory at your warehouse that you can, you know, you can fulfill those orders, you can switch on your FBM listing the day that you go out of stock. Run the stock out assessment checklist to determine why the stock out occurred. That's a separate document that we can uh, give you later. Uh, adopt inventory minded marketing, and there's a link to that. And then the marketing team, this is very, very important. If the stock out is avoidable, Reduce marketing to spend, uh, reduce marketing spend to increase per profit unit, sorry, profit per unit and avoid the stock out. So deactivate coupon codes. So we're trying to lower our marketing to not waste money. We don't want to drive ourselves into a stock out. Cut back on aggressive marketing, PPC, external traffic, etc. Track page rankings to ensure they're significantly, that they aren't significantly impacted. Work with the inventory team to ensure inventory arrives before you stock out. If it is unavoidable, aggressively market to increase the sales to. Now, this one's a little bit controversial for some people. The idea about this one here is <clears throat> you're trying to drive up your bestseller rank, drive up your keyword ranking the day that you stock out. If the stock out is unavoidable, there's nothing you can do about it. And if it's going to last for a while, like you can't get inventory from your supplier to Amazon, you know, within the next month or two, and you're going to have this big chunky stock out then this is actually a really good idea is to drive that sales velocity up and then track increase in page rankings, note those things. And then you want to sell, sell down to around five units and then intentionally shut down, uh, strand your inventory, i.e. close your listing before stocking out. Um, again, we've tried this. It really works to maintain that page ranking when you come back in. I'm not going to read every word here because this video is getting a little long. Um, anyway, these are the basic steps here. And this is going to help you in conjunction with starting on this page. If you land on this page, if you use this, uh, this, um, excuse me, this dashboard, this is going to point you in the right direction. And then again, try to find out why are we stocking out so much on these products. And I can tell you that the majority of time people are stocking out, uh, you know, I consult a ton of people in so stock. A majority of the reasons why I keep seeing stockouts is people are not keeping track of their buffer stock. You want to make sure you have plenty of buffer stock at Amazon and a good spread if you're doing as needed ordering. Um, they're not using backup lead times, express lead times, but it also could just be that your supplier is getting sloppy or you have a bad freight forwarder. Who knows? So there's a lot of potential reasons why stockouts might occur, but the idea is to stay on top of them and take action as soon as you predict that one is going to happen. Cheers.